Right, this is a 2009 Escape. The um, MyKey software actually is going to come out in 2010, starting with the Focus and uh, moving to all the 2010 vehicles. And it'll be uh, standard equipment. Um, because there already needs to be software in the instrument cluster, um, they're simply going to load the MyKey software and it'll be no charge um, standard equipment on the vehicle. So, and then the parents, the, the owner of the vehicle, can choose whether they want to use the MyKey or not. MyKey is actually not a key. It just uses a standard um, Ford key. Every uh, Ford vehicle comes with two keys, and the keys have a uh, microchip in them. And it's used with our passive anti-theft, we call it PATS system. And what it does is the vehicle can uniquely identify each key. So it knows that this key is different from this key. Um, what my key does is I can limit certain parameters on the vehicle. So I can go into um, a setup menu for my key. I can limit the maximum speed on the vehicle to 130 kilometers an hour. Now you notice the menu says 120, but this is the demo software as I mentioned. So the production software will be 130. So I can turn that speed limit on or off. I can also set a chime, a speed chime that comes on in the vehicle at either 75, 90 or 105 kilometers. I can also limit the radio volume, so I'll leave that limited. And then any safety features like advanced track that the vehicle has, I can set it so the driver is not allowed to turn that feature off. So now we've created a Mikey. And now when we use the vehicle, it's going to recognize that one as a my key. The other key will remain an administrator key, so I can't change any settings now with the my key. It's locked, but I can use the administrator key to go in and change some of the settings or to clear the my key. You know, teenage driver, we've uh, started our car. You can, it's a hybrid, so the engine's not running. <laughs> so, and we've got talk radio. So this is the best part about my key. So your teen driver is now in the vehicle, they're ready to go, they've got the radio going, and they take off. And because my key's enabled, we get a message that says buckle up to unmute audio. So my key takes away the radio until you do your seatbelts up. Uh, seatbelts done up, we get our tunes back. Exceed the 75 kilometers an hour limit that I set, we would get a tone and it would say to check my speed and to drive safely. And also if we wanted to exceed, if we tried to exceed the 130 maximum speed, 130 kilometers maximum speed, the pedal would basically go dead. You could press it as hard as you want and it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't exceed that speed. And you'd get a message on the cluster again saying that your speed's limited. There's other elements that it does. It, uh, the low fuel warning light that typically you get on, um, usually, let's say it comes on normally at 80 kilometers an hour, with uh, 80 kilometers to empty. With my key, it'll come on a little bit sooner, so it gives you a bit more advanced warning than typically you would get. So it's, it's things like that that are good reminders for new drivers or team drivers. It takes the place of the parent in the passenger seat and it, uh, it does those three things that that parent would say. Um, buckle up your seatbelt, watch your speed, and turn the radio down.